Well, in This Week in History, a glimpse into a part of the island's past that many have never heard of. A seal hunt once thrived off BC's coast. Bruce Kirkpatrick now with what brought it to an end. It is called Canada's unknown seal hunt. Millions of seals, many from Alaska's Aleutian Islands, swam in a large migratory pattern across the North Pacific and along the BC coast over a century ago. On November 17, 1900, the Victoria Sealing Company was incorporated at a time when the industry was in trouble. Part of the problem was in the 1800s that it was virtually completely unregulated. They had hoped for um, more control and more profits, but uh, by about 1903 it was, it was definitely going downhill. Seals were harvested mainly because their fur was warm and waterproof. There are seal fur coats and hats at the Royal BC Museum, a reminder of an industry long gone. It brought in hundreds of thousands of dollars in uh, money of that time into the economy of Victoria in particular, but also into San Francisco. In the later 1880s, Victoria was home port for as many as 100 sealing schooners that caught seals in the open ocean, natives using harpoons and white hunter's guns. The Canadian industry was threatened by American actions to control and restrict sealing in Alaskan waters, and the northern fur seals were in serious decline, partly due to poachers with shotguns who raided the seal breeding areas. And so they took the guns, no forestock, so they could quickly put them inside their coat and hide the fact if somebody was watching them from, like the U.S. Coast Guard were watching them. It is estimated that only one of every two to eight seals killed at sea were captured. There's a lot of waste at sea and it's really unclear how many escaped, how many were lost and sunk, or how many died from uh, gunshot wounds uh, and were left by the sealers. By 1903, the impact of indiscriminate pelagic open ocean sealing had decimated the seal population. In 1919, the Victoria Sealing Company declared bankruptcy and by 1937 ceased to exist altogether. Sealing ships were left to rot in Victoria's harbor. It is estimated as many as 10 million seals were taken from the Gulf of Alaska and B.C. waters in the 1800s through to the early 1900s. In December of 1911, Canada, the United States, Japan and Russia signed the Northern Fur Seal Convention to save the seals, but most were gone by then and sealing was being replaced by salmon and halibut fishing. This Week in History Brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.